Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and this is your host, Data Pioneer, uh, coming to you, and I appreciate you watching the videos today. Today, I've got a, a special treat for you. We're doing a setup, a system setup and review, rather, of Sebion Linux, which is based on Gentoo, and it's version 19.3, uh, I believe, and don't hold me to that, uh, but it's version 19-something of Gentoo. Uh, Sebion Linux and uh, you're looking at the desktop now and um, I think you'll like it um, let me go ahead and let me move myself up so you can see a little bit better here here we go um, I like the desktop um, in fact I like it so much that I uh, am going to just go ahead and keep it for a while I haven't uh, changed it out uh, it's often that I um, get a distro of Linux that I want to, di to review and the first thing I do is, after updating it, is change out the desktop because I don't like the desktop wallpaper, if you will. And I like this one. I really like it. Um, uh, but anyway, um, so come with me today, and we're going to look, uh, take a brief uh, look at setting up and uh, reviewing Sabion Linux from Gentoo. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm in my VirtualBox 6.0 manager, and I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, Sebion. So I'm going to click Machine New, and I'm going to give this thing a name. I'm going to call it Sebion uh, XFCE Linux. And it's Linux, and it's Gen 2 64-bit based. I'm going to give this uh, 2048 megabytes or 2 gigs of RAM. Click the Create button. And let's give this thing, uh, oh, let's go with uh, 32 gigs of uh, VDI, dynamically allocated space here. Let me click Create. And now let's go up to the Settings button. And under Settings uh, System here, let's uh, untick Floppy, select Hard Drive, and move it up in the boot order. And um, go ahead and select Display. And uh, let's go ahead and give this thing the full 128 megabytes of video memory. VGA, <clears throat> let's go with VBox VGA. With storage, I'll click on that. Click the uh, uh, virtual CD-ROM. Choose the virtual uh, file that I downloaded, which was the Sebion Linux 1903 AMD64 XFCE ISO. Click Open. And uh, that loaded that. Now let's click Audio. And uh, it's okay. Click Network and change that to Bridged Adapter. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and select USB and let's give it uh, USB 3.0. And uh, let's click back on System again and just verify a couple of things here. Display, everything looks good here. Storage and let's change the name um, here to X uh, uh, 19.3 Linux okay click OK now let's go ahead and fire it up and when it uh, comes up I'm going to do what I usually do which is change the view to um, full screen mode and let Sabayan uh, go ahead and uh, let's do an installation here Click installation. And launch the installer. Okay, it's coming up now, and the uh, installer should be coming up shortly. All right, um, here it is. Welcome to the Sabayon Linux installer. You got America English language. Click next. It uh, has located me in New York, which is good. America, New York time zone. Let's click next. And uh, default English keyboard is good. Next. Let's go ahead and erase the entire disk here. I'm not going to do any partitioning. And we will use a swap. All right which is about 4.3 gigs. Uh, click Next. Go ahead and 
put in my name, which is Stan Calloway. Uh, Data Pioneer is the username. I'm going to call this thing um, Sabayon VM. Uh, choose a password for Data Pioneer. And I am going to uncheck, use the same password. I want to go ahead and put in a, a uh, super user password here. That way it will give uh, me sudo privileges. And let's click next here. All right. We'll verify everything looks good and click install. Okay, this is uh, this is going to take some time, and um, and so for the interest of not uh, having you sit here and uh, watch the whole thing, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's completed. Okay, well I'm in my um, Sabayon uh, Linux. Um, this says simplicity for sophistication. Uh, Sabayon is uh, based on uh, Gentoo. And um, I'm a big follower of Gentoo Linux. Um, I have built Gentoo from the ground up. This one, fortunately, comes um, pre-configured for you. Uh, this one has the XFCE desktop, uh, which I really like. It's very lightweight. If I do a right-click and open the terminal, as you can see, if I run HTOP, um, it's only pulling 763 megs out of 1.94 out of 2 gigs. It's not bad at all. Load averages are 0 0.46, 0 0.40, 0 0.17, uh, 83 tasks, uh, 251 threads, one running. Um, uptime here of only 2 minutes and 36 seconds so far, uh, but really looks pretty good. Um, not a problem with this. I, uh, As I said, I'm a big follower of Sebion. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, under Applications, um, this is the desktop, and it's got a neat wallpaper. In fact, it's so good. Um, I haven't changed it out. I like I like this wallpaper. So um, under applications, uh, let me click on that. You've got run program, terminal emulator, uh, file manager. So the file manager here, uh, if I bring that over, uh, if I do a help and about, it is Thunar uh, version 1.8.9. Um, and you can click here for the uh, website itself. Here's the license and the credits and I'll go ahead and close this. Um, but here, yeah, it looks, if you're familiar with Thunar File Manager, uh, which I am very familiar with Thunar, because I use Thunar with other distros of Linux as well. I'm a big fan of Arch Linux, big fan of Gentoo, as I said. Um, Arch is probably my standard uh, go-to platform, uh, my, my uh, driver uh, on a daily basis when I'm in Linux. Uh, however, I'm, I'm kind of partial to um, Voyager 10 Debian. I'm, I'm really a big Debian user. And the reason for that um, is because I also run Raspberry Pi, and Raspberry Pi runs on Raspbian OS, which is based off Debian. And I have a personal cloud, a WD My Cloud personal cloud, 5 terabytes. It also runs on a Debian distro. So I'm partial to Debian as well. I've been working with Linux now since 1995, 94, 95 time frame when it first came out, practically. Uh, my very first distro of Linux was Slackware, I believe. And then I moved up to CentOS and, um, and uh, Red Hat. Well, Red Hat first, then CentOS second, because CentOS is a spinoff of Red Hat as its community uh, enterprise uh, Linux. Okay, um, so... File Manager, I've got, let's see if I have anything in the Pictures folder. I don't think I do. No. All right, let me go ahead and close this. Let me get back into Applications. And uh, here's the Mail Reader. I don't use that. I use uh, Proton Mail. And so on the web browser itself, uh, I can get into Proton Mail here. I'll just click Proton Mail icon. And um, there it is. Uh, it's very nice. I like the Proton Mail web interface. Uh, I can do everything I want to here. I don't have to worry about any bridges because ProtonMail does have a ProtonMail bridge for compatibility and incorporation into uh, Thunderbird and some other clients. I don't use it. All right, so there's my mail. Let me go ahead and close this out. All right, and so let's minimize, get back to applications and... Uh, Oh, and I've, I meant to mention here, um, let me go ahead and let's look at the version of 
the web browser that we have. So if I do a help and about Firefox, it looks like we're running 69.0.1, 64-bit Firefox Quantum. Okay, very nice uh, up-to-date version here. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. And I do have um, one, two, three, four workspaces here. So let me get back on workspace one. And back into applications. Uh, under settings, I've got the settings manager. Let me bring that up. And here we are. Here's the settings manager. Uh, and it's broken down into the typical categories of personal, hardware, system, and other. Uh, under personal, you have appearance, desktop, file manager, notifications, the panel, preferred applications, screensaver, window manager, window manager tweaks, workspaces, and the XFCE terminal. Get under appearance here. And um, I'm currently using the Adweta uh, style here. And um, I'm partial to the dark. Uh, so here's the Equinox Evolution Dark or Dusk. Let's see what else they have here. Um, I see XFCE Dawn and XFCE Dusk. I'm going to go ahead and try the XFCE Dusk and see what we have. Um, no, that's actually lighter than I suspected it was going to be. Let's look at the Dawn. Um, it's not working for me. Um, dusk here for Equinox Evolution. For Style. Uh, yeah. That's really not working for me here. So let me go back to Adwaita Dark. I don't see any other dark themes. I'm going to go back to that. I like the dark themes. It's easier on the eyes. Uh, I can navigate better through those. All right, for settings, uh, back into the settings manager. Under hardware, we have the display, and I am running uh, 1920 by 1080 widescreen um, 1080p monitor that I have, 60 hertz. Um, so it's working great. Comes up to full screen. Really happy about that. Uh, I am running this in a virtual machine on VirtualBox 6.0 Manager, however. And so that's not surprising that it came up to full screen. Um, under Settings, again, uh, under the Manager, we have Keyboard, Mouse, and Touchpad, Power Manager. Under System, Accessibility, Login Window, MIME, Type Editor, Session Startup, and then the Settings Editor for Other. Go ahead and close that. Um, under the settings here, we have accessibility, appearance, all the ones that were in the window that you saw there. Okay, So you've got that on the pull down as well. Under accessories, you've got the application finder, the archive manager, the bulk rename, clipman, uh, gnote, leafpad. Leafpad is uh, kind of slick. It's kind of like notepad uh, for Windows. And so if I, this is a note. And uh, if I click File and Save As, and I want to save that to my desktop, and I want to save it as a sample note. Dot, uh, well, I'll just leave that extension off, let it put its, its own extension on there for LeafPad. And you can see that uh, it came out on the desktop. And there it is, Sample, sample Note. And uh, it doesn't look like it has an extension on it. So if I open it, there's a note, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and delete that. I don't really need that on the desktop. I kind of try to keep my desktop pretty clean here. Under applications here, accessories, um, screenshot, uh, task manager, Thunar file manager, under education, we've got the Libra Office Math. Under graphics, we've got FontForge, uh, GNU image manipulation program, uh, GIMP. Let's see what version GIMP are running here. It should be, uh, yeah, 2.10. That's what I figured. It is the latest version uh, on most Linux distros these days. Uh, if you're running 2.08, you need to upgrade to 2.10. It's much better. Uh, I like it a lot better. Okay, so this is the appearance that I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, let's go back into Applications and the Graphics. We've got the LibreOffice Draw. Restretto Image Viewer. I like that um, Image Viewer. Uh, let's go back up to accessories and take a screenshot of the desktop here. Uh, let's do a two-second delay and do the entire screen. And uh, there it is. And so let me click OK. And let me save that out on pictures. Okay. And now let's get back into the Restretto uh, image viewer and see what that looks like. 
let's pull that up and um, let's open a screenshot and there we go and we're bringing up the full screen so this is the uh, Ristretto um, image viewer uh, it looks pretty nice I like it I like to use it I've used it in uh, Debian Linux as well um, Shotwell which is another image viewer Internet, we've got the Avahi SSH server browser and the VNC server browser. HexChat, I do have uh, a couple of uh, chat rooms uh, that I've created in IRC, and that's what this is. It's an Internet Relay Chat program called HexChat. Mozilla Firefox, uh, Pigeon Internet Messenger and Transmission, BitTorrent Client. Multimedia, we've got Audacious, good to see that. Uh, Pulse Audio Volume Control and Videos. Under Office, we've got the full Office suite. I'm not a big fan of LibreOffice, so I would probably install OpenOffice or um, some other Office here, uh, maybe even uh, TestMaker. Um, okay, so um, Sebion here, we have the download locations, the Gen2 documentation, Get Live Help, uh, Report Bugs, Sebion Git Repos, Sebion Help Forum, the home page, and uh, packages. So if I go into the home page, here's going to launch the browser and take me to sebion.org. And this is where I downloaded Sebion Linux. All right. And uh, you can do that directly from here, from this download link. I'll put a link out to this on the uh, below the video on, out on my YouTube channel. All right. And so let's minimize the browser again. Let's get back into applications. Uh, and we were on multimedia office. Okay. Sebion system. Okay. System, we have HTOP, login window, uh, Magneto updates notifier. This notifies me when I have updates. If you're for not, not familiar with uh, Gentoo, it uses um, something called Portage, and it uses the Portage package manager and uh, commands like emerge, uh, emerge ask, emerge pretend, if you're familiar with those. Uh, it does not use the aptitude package manager, nor does it use the package manager that Arch Linux uses, which is Pac-Man. Um, so you got to get used to it's a little bit of a learning curve with uh, Portage um, and and another thing I will mention to you about uh, Gentoo is when you do upgrade the system or you do install something it uh, actually goes through a uh, typically goes through a full um, a coding of the file and so you'll want to make sure that you uh, get a cup of tea a cup of coffee or something because uh, you're going to compile that program or you're going to compile that update. It's going to take a while. Uh, for instance, I, I did a, an update of, of this entire system when I first installed it. And when I ran the updater, uh, it took about an hour, a little over an hour, almost an hour and a half to do a full upgrade of the system. So it takes a while. All right, so uh, Rigo app Application Browser, uh, Sabion Greeter. Uh, Sabian Greer is, is good because it opens up to this thing here, which is your welcome screen, lets you get into community repositories, the package list, uh, first steps, uh, and under support, the forum, the wiki, the IRC chat for uh, chat support base for uh, Sabian as well, GitHub, uh, bug reporting, and donate. All right, so you can close it. Um, <clears throat> under system you also have the task manager and it runs just kind of like the windows 10 task manager thunar file manager we saw that ux term xfce xfce terminal and the x terminal uh, about xfce if you don't know a lot about it you can get information here on it and we're just about wrapped up here um, i want to do a uh, log out here in a moment but i want to come down to my name here, you can log out or switch user or lock the screen. And then over here, I do have the different uh, workstations, as I mentioned. I've got Clipman here, which is your clipboard, uh, which for your uh, previous commands that you've run, uh, it keeps a, a history of those right, on, right here available to you on the right-hand side on the panel. Okay, so you can uh, work with it there. And this is the trash bin, okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and empty the trash, I believe. So let's do empty trash, and let's go ahead and empty that. All right. 
off up on the right-hand side here uh, at the top, you've got the check mark that says your system is up to date. Uh, here I've got the Ethernet connectivity, and I am wired connected here uh, using a Sabion and a VM. Here I've got the volume control, and here I've got a calendar, okay? October 2019 is the 20th. So very nice, very nice system. I like Sebion. If you uh, aren't familiar with Gen 2, get into it. I mean, I think you'll like it once you um, once you get into it here. Uh, let's do a uh, log out and log back in the system here. So here with logging out, I can just do a straight log out. I can do a restart. I can do shutdown, suspend, hibernate, hibernate, sleep, or switch user. Okay. And I have a tick here under save session for future logins or not, okay? Let's just do a restart here and take a look at the restart of the system. This is uh, Oracle Virtual Box Manager 6.0. Uh, this thing starts up fairly quickly. Uh, it does come up to a less than 10, 9, or 1920 by 1080 uh, initially, but when you log in, then it comes up to full screen. I like that. Like I said, I'm revisiting Gen 2. I, I used Gen 2 well, many years ago. I really liked it. Now that Sabion's got a uh, very friendly, ah, I, I lied to you. It comes up to full screen now and I restart. So let me log in. And let's log right in to Sabion Gen 2 Linux. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of Sabion. And uh, if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to me. If you like this video, do a click on the thumbs up there for this video. And if you do subscribe, please go out and uh, hit that bell on the right-hand side so that you get notified every time I upload a video. All right. And so this has been a tour of Sabion Linux, uh, latest version, which I believe is 19.3. And um, this is a data pioneer uh, from the Linux Unix Tech Channel saying, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.